Hey, what's up? This is Steve Cardenas, a.k.a. Rocky the Red Power Ranger, and Jeff Brazo, Trent Fernandez Mercer from Battle Thunder, and you are watching Team Venom Media. Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode seven of season two of Team Venom's Power Rangers podcast. As always, I'm your co-host, Rory Bailey, joined by my co-host, Paul Baker. How's it going, Paul? I am doing phenomenal. How you doing, big guy? Yeah, yeah, not too bad, Doc. Yeah, not too bad. Um, How's Mary Lowe treating you? It's been an eventful week. <laughs> Pardon, how's what? <laughs> how's Mary Lowe treating you? Really well, really well. It's uh, yeah, give it time. <laughs> it's not gone sour <laughs> yet. She's, <laughs> she's still, You're still in the honeymoon me. phase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's been a, a big week, and, and such, especially for Power Ranger fans, because we've had the opening theme from Cosmic Fury release, as well as the the actual opening segment too. So we've we've seen who's in there, and uh, most importantly, who's returning. So, firstly, what do you think to the music? Oh man, I, I've heard cats screaming with more harmony than that, but you know, I, I don't like the music. No, like I just, I just started Dino Fury just to kind of the build up to lead it, lead up to it, yeah. And that theme, that, that's okay, but this new one, uh, yeah, you can tell our buddy did not produce that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it. And it's a shame because you're like, like once and always had such a good score, which, but as we know, that was wrong. So, whereas this isn't, and it's apparent. <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's going to be interesting to see if they kind of tie in once and always to the the new season. I would have thought so. I mean, and, and, and I guess we'll we'll get to speculation at some point in this uh, episode of how they're going to do that. But um, with them having Lord Zed and uh, the returning David Yost, the aka Billy, the Blue Ranger from My Morphin, the, there's they've got to tie it in, really, haven't they? <laughs> now, if you look at the one screen grab from the um, the opening. Uh-huh. It actually shows a screenshot of Billy from Once and Always. Yes. You can tell yeah. because he doesn't have the correct morpher. Or no, it's yeah. upside down. <laughs> that was it, yeah. But it's that, yeah, there's that. And there's also, well, there, we, we've seen also there's one um, still that's come out where it shows that Billy's behind the wheels in one of the, one of the uh, Zords as well. So it looks like he's going to be. Like even if they've used the once and always thing from there, it looks like he's still going to suit up for the show, which is great. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, they're going to have to tie into once and always because once and always shows how he got his powers. Yeah. <laughs> so they kind of have to, you would think. Yeah, yeah. So I'm hoping that it ties in with the whole, um, with the whole thing of SPA. So you know what I mean, because it's all. Well, it's cosmic. I'm hoping that we get some form of tie and we get like, I don't know, Adam and Aisha back for for that as well, because I'm sure I'm sure the pair of them would happily come back for for a, a one off, if not more. I'm, just, I'm actually surprised it's coming out. You know, they're not going to be allowed to talk about it, yeah, because of the whole strike. But I'm surprised they were able to finish the season before the strike happened. Even though I think they were filming in New Zealand, they were. Yeah, yeah. But they're still part of SAG Afra and what's the other one? Screen Actors Guild. Yes. I think. Yeah, it's union now. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, so. Um, I'm surprised. It, it kind of sucks they're not going to be able to, allow to promote it. So, even if we got David, which, by the way, answer your freaking Instagram <laughs> messages, dude. <laughs> I've been trying to get a hold of you for months now and you're not responding. Shame and on you. And also Twitter, for I messaged you on Twitter as per your instructions some nine years ago, David. <laughs> nine years ago, you said, hit you up on Twitter, you would let us interview you. <laughs> Never oh, wait, happened. wait, wait. No, no, no. It's not Twitter anymore. You can't say oh, Twitter. Now it's X. <laughs> yeah. Is that like a cheap advertisement on your hat there? Oh, crap. Not intentionally. 
Sure. Elon yeah. Pena, don't lie. No, no, no. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> if he was paying, I mean, we'd get more views on this show, to be fair. <laughs> Very true. Well, you know, we just got to stir the pot a little bit. We can... Yeah, that's true. Just, uh, speaking of stirring the pot, our last episode um, caused a fair bit of controversy, which is quite amusing. And it was we had Mark on, and um, he he said something about Starlight Studios, and our comment section sort of exploded, which is brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for the hits, guys. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Hey, you know, <laughs> controversy creates cash. Thanks, Eric Bischoff. Indeed. Who also is a fan of the channel. <laughs> In that out, we've had Bischoff on before. <laughs> Did you know that, Paul? See that tie-in. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. know that actually. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I, I got drunk, a little bit drunk with him in Leicester. In the UK, it was great. Um, but yeah, so from the comments, it, it, it was weird. They were defending Starlight and saying that they were about how Starlight was higher quality than, than what Mark was doing and, and everything, and saying that Mark was copying them. But like, Mark was the prop master on the show, Mark made the coins for the show. And everything else for the show, and he's used the molds from those to. But it's, it, it's weird. It's like, I I don't get what the what the grief was, and obviously we'd welcome anyone from Starlight to come and join us for an episode to explain their side of things. If that's you know, if if it was people from Starlight in the comments, it might have just been random fans or whatever for all we know. But true. Well, see, here's the thing that people don't understand: the original show was 1993. Uh -huh. High definition did not even come to mind in 1993. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, Starlight, props to you because these are definitely high quality. I got the Lord Draken coin here for the Legacy Morpher. But back in 1993, you didn't need to have such crisp lines. You didn't need all this extra stuff because, you know, stuff was blurry. They weren't having zoom ins of coins half the time. So, yes, yeah. him taking molds from the original coin, they're not high quality, but nah. they are from the actual show. Exactly. I mean, they're also, so you, they've got more authenticity than the Starlight the high quality coins. Because yeah, I mean, of who he is. Mark's putting out, man. I, I would, if, dude, if I had the money, I'd buy the whole damn set. Yeah, yeah, same man. Yeah. He's selling the ninja set for $100, the entire set. Yeah. So be sure to check out Mark's page on Facebook because he sells. Yeah, horror icon. <laughs> there we go. You're welcome, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> Cheap plug well, for you, pal. But next time you're on the show, make sure you pan the camera down a little bit there. I know you got it at the end of the show, but you know we got from here up. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Next time you come on, then please make sure to throw more shade at Starlight so we get loads more in the comment section. <laughs> like I said, man, Starlight does good products, but come on, guys. You you cannot sit there and say Starlight or uh, Mark is copying Starlight. Come mm -hmm. on, guys, really? It's all it's... okay. We have this fancy thing called the internet. Okay, so if you go on this place called um, Google, that's right, <laughs> Google, you can see Mark Richardson, prop master for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which means Starlight Studios wasn't even a drop in the bucket back then. Yeah, who who's copying who? <laughs> it's, yeah, I have my daughter strange. laughing at me right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, circling back to our given topic for this uh, this evening's episode that has suddenly just become talked about Starlight. <laughs> um, so, it's a cosmic fury. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Let's stir the shit, pal. Let's stir it. <laughs> so we've got the great thing of Billy returning as the, the Blue Ranger again. And from the stills and stuff that's been shown, we can see that he's going to suit up. We've got Lord Zed looking a lot more like the Lord Zed we all know and love as opposed to what he appeared as in Dino Fury where he was chunky. He seems a lot chunky more Chunky short. Yeah. But he seems a lot more toned. A lot more toned is the best word. To, to, I think it's the best way of describing him. But um, the I think he's doing Pilates. He probably has. To be fair, it's been a few years since he returned. So he's obviously just been working out, getting getting ready for for some ass kicking. 
But um, he's got his own minions, which is great. And a uh, bit disappointed that they're not put his. <laughs> we know they've got the costumes. We saw the costumes from once and always. It's not like they've got to do that much different to it than a few Z knee pads and they're sorted. <laughs> It'd be nice if they brought back, like, you know, speculation, if they brought back, like, Goldar or Rito or, you know, kind of... You have the original tie-in with Mighty Morphin, so you had Robo Rito, why not bring in Robo Goldar or... Yeah. Master Vile or something, you know? See, I know they they gave that explanation in in Once and Always that it was the essence of Rita's evil that they brought back when trying to restore Zordon from the the events of the Z-Wave thing. And Dino Fury had the thing of Lord Zed being plucked from a different time slash reality. So, but realistically, if, if they the plucked him from there, they can pluck anyone else. <laughs> True, but if you watch uh, Dino Fury, when they brought back Lord Zed, it, it's kind of weird how, you know, they plucked him from a different time, but he knows the Rangers because he said something about not again or, you know, something along those lines. So, did they plug him from after Mighty Morphin during Zio or, you know, somewhere in between per se to where yeah, he remembers yeah. wh- what he did before the guy's ass wax. Which yeah. You kids ruined season two. Okay. When <laughs> Lord Zed came on, he was badass. He was yeah, actually yeah. like, holy shit. He scares the hell out of me. Yeah. And then he turned him into a comedy character. Damn kids. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean the the other th- the side of it is um, if we use like the the time travel theory that's used in other media like um, the Flash and Avengers, they do the whole times. It's not time; it's alternate realities and stuff like that. They they can use that as the get out clause, don't they, to to undo things. So if they decide that this kind of like is, the multiverse uh, theory, yeah, yeah. So if they decide to use that. Then, if they really wanted to, they could bring in Draken or a variant of Draken. Although I don't think uh, they could do I it don't without JDF. I don't know if they'd do that. I don't that think, think it'd set right, so like, would it? No. Hey, anything's well, possible. It could be hinted I mean, at. Look at some of those AI stuff that they're putting out there. Uh, you can do a CGI, you know, JDF, or you know, you can mimic JDF's voice doing voiceovers while you got Lord Draken under the helmet. Yeah, I mean, it could always be, um, you know, just a, a random shot of fan service. We get a, a glimpse in an alternate reality or whatever. They could do that. It, it, yeah. But for Cosmic Fury, one of the things I, I figured would be an interesting thing to discuss, although it could also be a very quick thing to discuss, is how we think Billy's going to end up joining the team. Yeah, is he going to be like the mentor or? I'm assuming. I, I don't mentor, think they're going to bring so... him in the first episode. No. Maybe or do, if he is, but... it'll be like the last shot or something. Yeah, something along those lines. I don't know. But I don't understand this whole Sporax thing. No. Like, so the Sporax are monsters that got taken by Void Knight, which I don't know the whole story of that yet. I'm only on like episode five or six or something along those lines. But where did the Sporax come from? I they know. might know. Nope. <laughs> so maybe but, uh, a few listeners out there could uh, post a comment and let me know because it's going to be a while before I can finish this season that would be quite convenient to be fair because I've, I've not watched it all <laughs> so I, I, in fact all I watched was the Lord Z episode of the first series and I think I've caught a random episode here or there where it's been on TV um, and my son's been watching it and so I should probably get him on here he could tell us what's happening Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Yes, for episode eight. <laughs> just about what happens in Dino Fury because we're lost. <laughs> yes, please, <Good> somebody else. <laughs> but um, I mean, do we do we think we're gonna? He's gonna carry on looking for Zordon, like he we like how we found Rita, and then potentially find these extra Rangers by mistake. I don't know. I mean, where are the Dino or Cosmic Fury Rangers based out of? Space yeah, the Angel Grove, yeah, Turbo Cove. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's going to be space. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Maybe they can bring in uh, Andros. Yeah, yeah. And to be fair, from like the Bloodline 
watch um, Bloodline of the Grid uh, miniseries that they've been doing on YouTube and stuff, uh, you can tell that Chris Kamen Lee will be more than happy to reprise his role. Did they come out with the next episode yet? I think two episodes have been out, as far as I'm aware. I think I have to catch up on that because I don't remember seeing the one episode. I didn't know they came out. The yeah, I, I saw the first one and I remember the scene that the second one was coming out, and then for whatever reason I missed it. And I'm sure I've looked for it a few times after after then. I'm googling it now just to check. Um, and I know it's old news, but if anybody's living under a rock, you notice Legend of the White Dragon, which was supposed to come out two weeks from now, is postponed until some what March of next year. Yeah. Some kind of post um, production editing or something along those lines, which really sucks because I was looking forward to seeing that soon. Yeah. I am a fan of Bat in the Sun. We've had an episode about that. Yeah, there there is a second episode of Bloodline. Cool. Now I got so, something to watch later. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, twenty seven minutes, which nice. the first episode was about fifteen minutes or something like that. I think. Oh, twelve minutes. The first episode is twelve minutes. The second episode is twenty seven. So. Uh, wow, the first episode was only twelve minutes because they packed a lot into that. Yeah, yeah. So I just got I just got it up on thinking looked at the run times, but um. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to see Andros or any of the other Space Rangers turn up. I mean, I would have thought Zane would be a definite possibility I mean, in terms of the character. It, Even if they don't have them, them take the helmets off and stuff, they could, yeah, you know, they could get a body double or whatever in in the spacesuits. But um, and I'd like to see them touch on the S, on the Space Patrol Alpha thing because, like, like I said, we know that they're out there. <laughs> Yeah, we're, um, I'd have to watch the last episode of Dino Fury again, but they mentioned that Lord Zed was, oh man, in some galaxy, and I'm wondering if that's the same galaxy where the uh, SPA Rangers were when Could they be. were trying to teleport to once and always. I got to go back and double check that, but that might yeah, be a tie in that. there. Could be. I'll have, to, I'll have to have a proper look. I, I... Again, I, well, I'll, I'll have to watch Donnie Fury. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I but, know um, at the end of Once and Always, they mentioned um, uh, Sestra, you know, the Alien Rangers. Yeah. So maybe they'll bring them. I mean, there's a lot of possibilities. So yeah. a lot of buzz about this one. Indeed. And the best, I think one of the, the, the coolest elements of it is, I mean, for me, is... When we started this podcast, Dino Fury was on its first season and they brought back Lord Zed for the episode. We were all sort of just like, yeah, it's all right. And no one carried on watching Dino Fury. None of us were that bothered. I know we've all watched other seasons and stuff, but now we've got to the point where this is the third, technically the third season of Dino Fury with that set of Rangers. And now, because it's right, Lord Zed's the villain, Billy's back, it's, it's, it's suddenly become like a, yeah, I've got to watch this. And that's great. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since we had a season where it's like, yeah, I really want to check this out. Yeah. And it begs the question, are they going to release the whole season at once? Like well, it's Netflix, Netflix exclusive, it isn't it? So it could yeah. be. I mean, I have already promised my um, my, my stepdaughter that we've, we've already said that when that comes out on the day that, she, that it comes out, I've got to fetch it from school and then we've got to come back and binge watch whatever's available. Or it becomes a weekly thing, depending on how it comes out. But yeah, so I, mean, I guess we're gonna have to watch Dino Fury with it. <laughs> my little one just starts in kindergarten in two weeks, so yeah, I guess I'll have to wait <laughs> for her to get out of school. Yeah, so or watch it in advance to make every... sure that it's okay. We watch it in advance to make sure it's okay for them to watch, and then we have to watch it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Or if it's like once and always, you watch it six or seven times, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's one of those things that I've, I've never, I've no, never consciously set out to watch it a bunch of times, but I just have by default because uh, the same uh, stepdaughter is into Power Rangers at the moment. She's seven, well, six, sorry, coming up to seven, and because um, she's now in, into that, and we've been watching the original Mighty Morph, and then we watched Once and Always on release day, and then. Um, my son wanted to watch it, so uh, so we watched it again, and then we 
we were sat around then uh, I'd said to her a few weeks later, I'll watch Fancy Watch it. Do you want to watch that again? And then it's just happened like organically. We've ended up watching it about five or six times by default. Which is it's kind of weird how like, oh yeah, definitely. It's awesome. But it's kind of yeah. weird how Netflix, like they have their first three seasons of Mighty Morphin. They cut off Alien Rangers. Yeah. And then they have a little sprinkling of different seasons here and there. Why not just be like Tubi or Tubal or whatever the hell that's called and just well, bring them all. A few years ago, um, like way back before Netflix had a deal with them, um, especially in the, the, the at least in the UK, there was a point where you could get every single season on there, every single one. And so it had Alien Rangers as a separate season. It had Zero. It had Turbo. It, but it had absolutely everything on there. And uh, I wonder if that was just a UK thing because I really don't remember that. We, we're probably going back about eight years, something like that. And then all of a sudden everything disappeared apart from Mighty Morphin and uh, Megaforce. And then then the, the next Ninja season will come on, on a bit there. later. And yeah, Ninja Steel's on there and Megaforce disappeared. But um, at one point they had um, the legendary battle from Megaforce, but an extended version where you got more clips off the, the legendary Rangers not doing anything. <laughs> more that clips had so much standing buzz on a rock. Like, <laughs> yeah, it had so much buzz. And then it's just like, they're there. What are they doing? Yeah. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah. Just see them all running the enemy. It, it could have been more. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's one of those. So, but well, on Netflix, of... keep raising your damn prices. Put more shit out there. Yeah, yeah, and but back anyway, then was... Netflix was like nine bucks. Yeah, and you could share it, <laughs> <laughs> which we're not allowed to do now. Thanks, Netflix. <laughs> Who said Netflix? <laughs> I may or may not be sharing. I will not confirm or deny, but my mom doesn't live with me and she's been watching. In the at least in oh, the UK, it came out a few few months back that they were going to start rolling out the feature where you'd have to sign in on your home network at least once a month. At the How address are they able to track your home network? Because they can't have no that idea. info. But yeah, it's weird. So good on that. So far, so far, I haven't had any issues. Very good. Well, um, we'll wrap this up because there's not a lot more we can say about Cosmic Fury based on the 30 second clip that's come out. And to be fair, <laughs> it's been a 30 second clip, and we've got a half hour chat about it. <laughs> which is pretty hey, awesome. man, when you're right. when you're power ranger experts like us, you know we can break everything down. Indeed. So, uh, but yeah. Thank you for joining me, obviously, Paul. And thank you to everyone that's watching at home and listening to us via Spotify, iTunes, Apple, Amazon, iHeart, and all the other places that we're on. Um, if you're watching oh, us on YouTube, quick, please find us quick, on those. Quick message to the uh, Starlight Studio fans. Bring it. <laughs> Don't <laughs> sing it, bitches. <laughs> Just bring it. You know what? We'll, we'll bring Mark back on. Yes, definitely. So anyway, see you all later. <laughs>